So let me go into denial. We are masters as humans of denial. No, maybe, I don't think so. Maybe a lot of animals are. <laughs> you and I, in order to function in this conversation, have to be in denial of poverty and famine that's going on right now. There right. are thousands of people who are dying of famine and poverty and atrocities right now, Berto. Yeah. Human beings just as worthy of compassion and rights as you and I are, that are currently dying, even in our own country. If we focus on that, we wouldn't be able to get anything done. Right, right now, not that we don't ever, not that we're always in denial of that, yeah. but we have to be able to compartmentalize the function. Right now, we, you and I, in order to function in this conversation, we have to understand that you and I, even by just making this podcast, we are actually contributing to the destruction of our planet. Right. Uh, you drove over here in your car. It's a hybrid. <laughs> and you, you, all the things that we're doing, you know, yeah. the clothes on our back have petroleum all yeah. over it. And you could say our denial of it is our downfall in, in that, in that uh, arena. So we have to be in denial of the fact that we're going to be dead one day and none of this will matter. Absolutely. But there are certainly more pragmatic, practical daily matters that get attended to because of that denial. Denial is a very useful mechanism for us that can be utilized or engaged when you're in a relationship with someone who's abusive, when you're in a relationship with someone who has alcoholism or something. Because the way that our brains work is we take the path of least resistance. Yeah. So you can face all that just horrible, horrible, horrible consequences in a whole, ver including death. Or you go into denial and you just say yeah. to yourself, it's not true. None of that is true. And I'm just going to go through my day. And there are different levels of denial. There's a level of denial that's deep where it's almost like delusional and you're fully brainwashed. There's also levels of denial where you're just like, well, I just don't want to deal with it today. I just have to get through one more day. And you're just in survival mode. Everyone is capable of that victimization and that gaslighting and that denial. And until you realize that out there, you are vulnerable to victimization. You have to know, I could be a victim of that. Because when you recognize that, you can protect yourself from the early signs. 